Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us today for the first ever FAC Virtual Auto Show. Normally, at around this time of year, we are gearing up for auto show season, which we love. Uh, it's our chance to see all the new models, learn about the industry trends, and of course, get up close and personal with our dream vehicles and dream brands. Auto show season is also a reminder that spring is coming and then summer, and that is the best driving season. We are sure that you are looking forward to that as much as we are, especially this year. Because the auto show isn't happening, we decided to get all of our brands and all of our stores together for this really fun initiative, a virtual auto show, so that you can enjoy it from your home, in the comfort of your own home, on your phone or your computer. And in some ways, we think it's better than being there. You can really get to know the cars that you want to see, and you don't have to look for parking or deal with crowds, which we love. You'll see cars today and motorcycles from across all of our brands here in Southern Ontario and all across Canada. And many of them you can actually buy now with just a couple of clicks of a button on fafauto.com. Because of how much product you'll see today and how many presenters we have from across all of our brands, we won't be able to answer live questions. However, we are so happy if you would like to pose a question, we will follow up after the show. And we are so happy to welcome uh, someone who is definitely a familiar face around here to talk about some of the automotive trends for 2021 and really the excitement behind this virtual event. I'm so pleased to welcome President and CEO of FAF Automotive Partners, Chris Faf. Thank you. Sorry about that. Thanks very much, Jackman. And uh, it's great to be here today. I mean, a lot of things have changed in the last year, uh, obviously, for, for obvious reasons. And our, our group has uh, obviously reacted as well. Um, the industry was changing anyways, but we were forced into it faster. And we have a better way of doing business today, I think, in terms of transparency and, and speed of process, one price, best price up front, and our one point of contact in the in the sales end. So it's it's changing quickly. The other thing I've really noticed this year is electric vehicles. That is coming at us hard and fast. And even for me, you know, I'm a big V8 power guy my whole life, but I'm now driving on an electric car and uh, with all our offerings, we've got a whole slew of them coming over the next 24 months. Uh, so the industry is changing and as well, our ability to do business online uh, and sell you a car really from your living room, right from start to finish and having it delivered to your house. So lots of change happening in the industry. You know, I grew up in the business from as a kid washing cars. And I remember working my very first auto show many, many years ago, and it was a great experience. This is obviously very different, but the benefit is there's no crowds and you've got a chance to see things across uh, Ontario and uh, in Europe. We have some great uh, surprises to show you today as well. So I hope you enjoy the show. Thank you very much for being with us today and uh, have, a, have a great time at the show today. Thank you. Thank you so much, Chris, for that update and love hearing about the history of FAF and, and your involvement in the car industry. And now to kick off our show, we have so many brands to look forward to. So without further ado, let's kick off the very first ever FAF Virtual Auto Show. Our first brand today is Audi. We actually have two stores under the Audi brand. We have HJ FAF Audi and Newmarket. But right now, I'm going to send it over to Audi Vaughn, where we have two brand reps standing by. Over to you, Shannon. Hello, everybody, and welcome to FAF Audi. And my name is Shannon Douglas, and it is my absolute pleasure to be here today to present to you the all new 2021 Audi RS6 Avant. It is finally here. Although in its fourth generation internationally, it is making its Canadian debut finally. And it is here to share with you today. Now this is the perfect car for anyone who has a need for speed with an appreciation for practicality. And I am here to share a little bit about that. Now, starting in the front end, this car's presence is absolutely undeniable. It has an incredibly wide, low front end, characteristic of its R8 cousin. We have the headlight taken from the Audi A7 and a wide stance made possible by actually a wider body that towers over up to 22 inch alloy wheels. Now, the front end also tapers down a little bit further to make room for the largest engine we've ever put under this hood. The Audi RS6 is equipped with enough power to make it perform on the track and on the road. So when it comes to the engine, it is a 561 horsepower, 561 foot pound of torque, twin turbocharged V8. That brings this car from zero to 60 miles per hour in only 3.6 seconds. So not far off of that R8 sibling, let's call it. <laughs> 
Now also, it's not just a pretty face when it comes to the braking power, because it's a larger vehicle with a lot of power, it needs that strong stopping power. So tucked behind these 22 inch wheels are up to 10 piston brakes with optional carbon ceramics. Speaking a little bit more on design, getting the side angle here really allows you to appreciate its coupe-like features. Although very much so a wagon, the coupe is always at the forefront for Audi design. It's also sitting a bit lower, made possible by dynamic RS suspension, currently sitting in dynamic mode. Now, Audi is known for its Quattro all-wheel drive system, and this car is no exception to that rule. This car is equipped with sport differential Audi Quattro system, which has the ability to split the axle or the, the power that goes to the rear axle between the rear wheels, allowing for absolutely incredible cornering and enhanced handling. Now, when it comes to the interior, Audi has done an incredible job balancing this car's performance with the luxury and quality expected of a car of this caliber. Take a look. Complete with Audi's most advanced MMI system with two touch screens in the center and a virtual cockpit in front of the driver display. This car has everything in the inside basically is surrounded by carbon fiber inserts, fine Napa leather and optional Alcantara where applicable in certain, um, certain features and, and packages essentially. And when it comes to the practicality, there is ample room for multiple adults in the rear seat, post COVID of course, and also these seats are super customizable, making extra room for your adventures. Now, when it comes to the back end of this car, it has that same presence as the front end. It has the coupe-like design, incredible rear spoiler, rear uh, diffuser here, and RS design inserts that are surrounding oval exhaust pipes, which are characteristic of the RS vehicle. Big exhaust pipes for big sound. It truly is something that you have to hear in person. Now, when it comes to practicality, again, it's a great mix of both. It has those creature comforts like a kick activated trunk and tons of space in the back for your day-to-day -day needs. It truly is the perfect car for, again, those people who have that need for speed, but an appreciation for practicality. And we are so excited that it is finally here. At this point, we're gonna pass it over to Will. If you have any more questions, we'd be happy to chat with you in person and I can't wait to see you in store. Over to Will for the e-tron. Thanks, Jen. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Virtual Auto Show. Here we have a very exciting offering, albeit it's at the other end of the spectrum from the RS6. This is a fully electric Audi SUV. This is the second one from Audi. This is the e-tron Sportback, okay? So as you take a look down the side here, um, you know, obviously you're getting what you're expecting from Audi in design. This is a beautiful coupe-like, group-like design, just like we touched on the RS6, but now in an SUV. Coming inside, you've got what you expect again from Audi, but with a few hallmarks for the e-tron family. One being the stitching on the seats and the gear selector. Those two are exclusive to the e-tron, okay? Now we're gonna kind of take a look around the front and see a couple more features that are exclusively e-tron. Just to prove it's electric, we've got the charge port here. The one on this side of the vehicle is capable of level three DC fast charging from zero to 80% battery life in half an hour. One more piece on the front end here that proves it's electric. There you go, folks. We're not, we're missing something here. We're missing an engine, but we gain more storage in the front. Coming down the side of the vehicle, like the passenger side, you see this one is equipped with the second charge port. Very handy for that home usage. That way, no matter what charge or what side of the garage your plug is on, you're gonna get full charge capability. This particular model is sitting on the 22 inch rim option. This is the biggest rim available for e-tron, right? And this one also has the dynamic orange brake calipers, as well as the black optics package. It's a chrome deletion for the window trim and the roof rails. So this one looked very slick and all black. Finally, around the back of the e-tron, we're going to take a look at this. Even though it is the sport back, it's still got ample, ample storage versus its e-tron SUV cousin. And we've even got a little bit of extra storage underneath the bottom here. Okay, guys. Wonderful electric offering from Audi. Thank you for watching. If you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Back to you, Jacqueline. Thank you so much, Will and Shannon. Love those updates from Audi. And hey, we have prizes uh, in conjunction with each of our brands today. So without further ado, let's get to some prizes. And these have been drawn ahead of the show. Uh, right now, our Audi prize pack is a really great one. It's an Audi sport duffel bag and an Audi swag gift basket. And not only that,
Balzac's Coffee has also jumped in. We love partnering with Balzac's. Uh, so they have given some of their amazing products. We have a Balzac's Travel uh, Cup, a retro mug, and a couple of beans of their incredible coffee. They've actually just opened up two local um, cafes actually here in York Region last October. So congratulations to them. That prize pack is going to Fabian Barrows from Toronto. Uh, we will contact you after the show to claim your prize. Thanks for watching Fabian. And now we are so excited to welcome two cars from the BMW family, the BMW M3 and M4. We actually have two locations. Uh, within the FAF family for BMW. We have FAF BMW in Mississauga, but right now we're going to go over to BMW Markham where Rob Cotonini is standing by. Hi, Rob. Hello, everybody. My name is Rob Cotonini, and I'm here with the all new BMW M3 and M4. These are two very highly anticipated models from BMW, and we've been waiting for a long time for them to arrive, and they're finally here. So today we're going to walk you around them. So I'm standing in front of here the M3 competition in black sapphire metallic over a Kailami orange interior. Uh, so some things about the M3, under the hood is a three liter six cylinder engine, which is twin turbocharged. It makes 505 horsepower and 479 pound feet of torque, which is much more compared to the predecessor model. Uh, in the front, we have nine, 19 inch wheels in the front, and we also have 20s in the rear. This gives us a nice staggered setup for great track use. And for tires that are optional on the M3 and M4, you can get a Pirelli P0 track tire, or you can get a Michelin Pilot Sports uh, tire for everyday road use. Uh, in the front, we've got BMW's brand new iconic uh, laser light headlights in the traditional halo effect. And moving around to the side of the vehicle, we've got the traditional BMW and mirrors. And on the inside, we see the all new interior from the BMW M cars. This M3 is finished with carbon fiber trim throughout, and this one has the regular sports seats. We're also gonna preview the carbon buckets in the M4. Moving around to the side of the M4, you'll notice the rear arches are very, very wide on the back of the M3. This car has so much road presence, and it makes way for the big tires that are needed to put all this power to the ground. The M3 and M4 right now are rear wheel drive. We're also having for the first time ever the BMW X M drive all wheel drive system. And uh, we're able to actually have four wheel drive in this vehicle and also turn it off to make it rear wheel drive only. In the back, we've got our quad exhaust tips. They are 100 millimeter pipes and they put out a ridiculous amount of noise in this M3. Coming over to the roof of the car, we have a standard carbon fiber roof that comes with all M3 and M4 models, whether it's a competition or a coupe. And I'm happy to to announce that the M3 and M4 are continuing to come in manual transmission. This is a great uh, win for BMW and the automotive community because a manual transmission, uh, there's nothing like it. And for pure auto enthusiasts, there's nothing like a third puddle. We'll shift our focus now on over to the M4 competition. We see this here in Portsmouth Blue over a Silverstone interior. And on this car, we're featuring the carbon fiber package. So in the front, we've got a carbon fiber air inlet. We've also got carbon fiber rear caps, again, a carbon fiber roof. And on the interior of this vehicle, we have the carbon fiber bucket seats. And what's unique about these carbon fiber bucket seats compared to any other automotive brand out there, are these are electrically powered. Any other brand, they are manually powered carbon buckets. So it's nice to have the electronic uh, adjustability uh, in the BMW. Heading on into the car. In the middle, we have a 10 inch display and this is completely digital showing your, all your information that you'll need, speedometer, tachometer, all track information, also multimedia. Over here, this is our newest infotainment system from BMW, this is iDrive 7. And there's a lot of tricks that this iDrive 7 system has. You can also record your lap timing uh, through your mobile phone, and you can have a lap timer already configured in the car. Uh, when we get to our setup button over here, uh, we can change our engine, chassis, steering, and for the first time ever, just like some of our other M vehicles, you can actually adjust the brake feel. So you can have a stronger bite initially, or you can have it more comfortable for everyday street driving. Our steering wheel is wrapped in full carbon fiber with carbon fiber shift paddles. We have carbon fiber interior trim and the new BMW M shifter. 
What's also unique about these carbon fiber bucket seats is that we have a carbon fiber insert that goes right in the middle. And this carbon fiber seat is already pre-configured for a five point harness for when you take your M3 and M4 on the track. Going around to the rear of the car, when, you, when the car is optioned with the carbon fiber package, you also get a carbon fiber rear spoiler, as well as a carbon fiber rear diffuser. Again, we see our 100 millimeter quad exhaust pipes here on the M3 and M4. Thank you for joining us here, the first ever Fat BMW Virtual Auto Show. Back to you, Jacqueline. Thank you so much, Rob. Love the new M3 and M4. Fantastic. We have a BMW prize pack to give away right now. And this includes BMW M sunglasses, a bag, a motorsports bear, and a couple of other goodies. And the winner of that prize is Wes Magolan from Waterloo. Thank you so much for watching, Wes. And up next, we are going to transition to our next brand, which is actually located in Newmarket, uh, Ontario. We have Fast Volkswagen standing by, and Henry Scott is going to tell us about uh, the 2021 Volkswagen Atlas Crossport. Hi, Henry. Hey, Jacqueline. Thank you. My name is Henry. I'm here at the Volkswagen store in Newmarket. This I have here the uh, Atlas Crossport. This is the exact line, the top trim available. What I also grabbed is so I want to show you the R line package that's available on the Atlas. So you'll notice that uh, certain things are different be between the uh, the two grills. Um, on the side, the side sills are body painted compared to the black uh, cladding on the regular Atlas, and the uh, rims are 21 inch compared to the 20 inches on the Atlas Crossport, just the exact line. So this one is in the tourmaline blue metallic. Uh, this one has the uh, cinnamon leather interior. It's one of the available interiors on the Atlas Crossport for the exact line. The other two are Titan Black and Dark Burgundy. This one has the easy open function. So you can just wave your foot and it'll open automatically. There's lots of space in this one, even though it's not the uh, bigger brother, the big brother Atlas, there's still tons of room in this one and uh, it has a little bit of a sportier look. So really you're just missing this little uh, cargo space here, but there's still tons of room. You can fold all the seats flat so that it'll give you as much room as possible. So you can still take your camping trips, do whatever you need to do with your big SUV. It's also got heated seats in the rear. But what I really want to show you is up front. So this one here has a fully digital display. It's called the uh, digital cockpit. So you can have uh, whatever information you want. You can have the uh, regular dials, or you can actually have your navigation screen built right into the middle, or you can have it in the center like you would normally have it. You've got the different driving modes. You've got uh, snow, normal, and off-road. Um, you've got parking sensors all around. So you can see everything around you when you're parking and it's got parking sensors built into that as well. You've got a uh, bigger panoramic sunroof and you can open this up. This is what it looks like with it open. You can have a sunshade on the inside. Um, the thing that I wanted to mention on this one is it's got the LED lights. So this is standard on the Atlas. So you've got bright lights any time or day. Um, thank you for joining me for the first ever virtual auto show. Back to you, Jacqueline. Thank you so much, Henry. Love that update from Volkswagen. What a, what a great next step and sort of the evolution of Volkswagen. Such a great family vehicle. Uh, we have a prize pack from Volkswagen to get to, which is really exciting. It's a hoodie, some Volkswagen shirts, a bag, baseball hats, and a water bottle, all BW. The winner of that prize is from Alliston. It's Ronnie Bursart. So congratulations, Ronnie, and we will contact you later to pick up your prize. And moving on to a small brand, Mini. It's not so small. It's got so much heart behind this brand and so much history. Uh, our store, Mini Markham, is obviously located in Markham and Alessandra Verducci is standing by. Hi, Alessandra. Hi, Alessandra. I'm here at Mini Markham presenting you the Mini Patty Pop Perk Edition. Now, this edition is a special edition paying tribute to a rally uh, race car legend driver who took behind the wheel of this British brand, 
defined the odds and dominated the Monte Carlo Rally in 1969. Um, today, the Mini is featured um, only 37 units available. The Mini has a white uh, rooftop, the color in chili reds, not just any red, it's chili reds. When you're coming around the vehicle, you'll see the number 37, which is his starting position. And with the upgraded technology of comfort access, getting into the mini is very easy. Before we sit down, you'll see the Dave CW sport seats. Also upgraded with digital display here for mini. The JCW stitching in the steering wheel, leather steering definitely makes you feel like you're ready for a race car driving experience. And not only you will have the enjoyment, but your passengers as well. Just before you exit the vehicle, you'll know that um, the exact edition that you're in, which is the Patty Hopper edition. After exiting the vehicle, we're coming around to the back and you'll see again his signature to let Every driver know what car you're in. And the Union Jack taillights are presented here as well. So other benefits to the vehicle is Union Jack taillights in the back and the front. Thank you and back to you, Jacqueline. Thank you so much, Alessandra. Love that update from Mini. And to get to our prize from Mini, Mini Markham, we have a JCW, which is John Cooper work, duffel bag, a cap, and a mini plush toy to give away. So the winner of that prize is Nancy Chafee from Toronto. Thank you for watching today, Nancy, and we will contact you after the show to claim your prize. And up next, we have Mercedes-Benz. Our dealership is located in Kitchener-Waterloo. It's Mercedes-Benz Kitchener-Waterloo. And Les Perens is standing by and he's got a car with the top down, which I think everybody will be happy about. Hi, Len. It's a beautiful day here at Mercedes-Benz, Kitchener-Waterloo. Summer is coming and what better way to usher in the summer months than with an AMG. Right before me here, I have a 2020 AMG GTC Roadster. It's the ultimate road and track car. The beauty and the beast, it combines the F1 motorsport technology with the stability of the road. Check out this beauty. Okay. At the front here, you're gonna notice this beautiful, aggressive and menacing grill. This grill actually pays tribute to the 1952 Mercedes-Benz 300 SL from the Panamericana race in Mexico. So cool little piece of history there. Now, you might notice how long this hood is, okay? This is actually a mid-engine supercar. Most mid-engine cars you're used to have the engine at the back but the engine sits actually right behind the front axle, giving you that perfect weight distribution. And now the engine in this car is a four liter V8 bi-turbo. And what's really cool about any true AMG is that it has a signature plaque on the engine bay, which shows you this engine was manufactured start to finish by one person. And then they signed the plaque at the end. So it's super exclusive. You're gonna see it right there, handcrafted Mercedes-Benz Germany. Not only was this engine built in a Volterbach, this is the second production car to come out of a Volterbach AMG headquarters in Germany. So the SLS, you're probably familiar with the Gullwing doors. This is the second car. So let's come along the side here. Stance is everything. You're gonna notice the front. This is a 19 inch wheel. All the way back, we have a 20 inch staggered wheel. What's really cool about this is it has a 1.5 degree turning angle. So at speeds under 100 kilometers an hour, the back wheels turn against the front wheels, which gives you a shorter wheelbase. Now over 100 kilometers an hour, it turns with the front wheels, giving you a longer wheelbase. That gives you agility and stability in all driving conditions. So you'll notice the soft top here. All Mercedes-Benz soft tops are seven layers thick including Kevlar, bulletproof material. So you're really insulated in the car. And I really love this Mercedes. They have the fastest roofs 
I've ever seen. Less than 10 seconds to roll this roof down. And you can do this at uh, speeds up to 50 kilometers an hour. So if it starts raining really quick, you can pop the roof up, uh, up to 50 kilometers an hour. Another really cool Mercedes-Benz feature is air scarf. So it's a cool summer night and uh, you want to keep the roof down. Air scarf, what it does is it blows warm air into your neck as you're driving so you can stay nice and comfortable. All is going to the inside of the car. Now, let me tell you, this feels as good as it looks, okay? Nothing in this car is cheap. If you look at the steering wheel here, it pays tribute to our very successful Formula One team. You have every button at your fingertips here, your telematics, and of course, the aluminum paddle shifters. And now, I know you're all wondering, and I'll tell you now, the car does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. I know it's a big concern. It does have it, okay? And um, I want to show you something really cool. Not too many people know about this car. So take a look at this head unit here, okay? So this head unit actually resembles another part of the car, the engine. The engine in this car is what we call a hot beat. What it is is the two-cylinder heads sit like this as a beat, and the turbos sit in between, spooled up like this, right? So what that does is you get immediate horsepower and virtually no turbo lay. So we call it the hot beat. And they took the design language of that engine and applied it to the center console here. And I think it's really cool. You can see it's shaped like a V and you have four buttons on each side to resemble the V8, really cool. So with these buttons, you have active dampening, the suspension, and my favorite thing is the exhaust valve, which you can open and close. And when you get this thing on the road, it has theatrical characteristics, crackling and popping. It is beautiful. And if you're like me, you might like to cause a little bit of ruckus. We have an empty showroom right now. So I would be doing you a disservice if I did not start this car. So there's a couple ways you can start this car to make it really loud. The first is to put it in Sport Plus on the drive unit here and start it up. The second way is what we call an emotional start. So by pressing and holding the aluminum paddle shifter here and starting up the car, you get a little extra explosive beginning when you start it up. So I'm gonna have Nav go behind the car. I'm gonna start it up for you and you're gonna hear the beautiful exhaust note of this AMG. I love that sound. Imagine waking up to this car in your driveway every day. It puts a smile on my face. I hope it put a smile on yours. And I hope you enjoy the rest of this auto show. Back to you, Jacqueline. Thank you so much, Les. That definitely put a smile on my face, 100%. Uh, we have a prize pack to give away from Mercedes-Benz Kitchener Waterloo. In the prize pack, it's a Mercedes-Benz watch. And not only that, if we have any Formula One fans, a hat, a Lewis Hamilton hat. So we will give that away now. And the winner is Brian Malloy from Calgary. Thanks for watching over in Calgary, Brian. And up next, we are going to go to another brand with so much passion behind driving. It's Subaru. Our dealership is located in Guelph. It's called Back Subaru. And I have Kira standing by to talk about the modified Crosstrek. Hi, Kira. Hi everybody, I'm here today at Saf Subaru in Guelph, and today we're going to be looking at a 2021 Crosstrek Outdoor with a bit of an off-roading twist. So we'll start with what it comes from the factory. This year is the first year the Crosstrek has two available engine options. You either have the 2-liter 4-cylinder or the 2.5-liter 4-cylinder. The outdoor package has the 2.5-liter 4-cylinder engine, and also has a few unique features that you can't find in any other trim. So, the outdoor package comes with the front camera. Also on the inside, right away, appearance-wise, it does look a little bit different. So we have the all-weather soft touch material on the inside. We also have dual function X mode. That's not an exclusive feature to this trim, but the outdoor does have that for your off-roading needs. 
You also have a feature of yellow on the steering wheel and cross track is stitched into the seats in yellow as well. And then we, when we go to the back of the trunk here, so we also have an LED lamp. This is a feature only found in the outdoor trim of the Crosstrek. You also get all weather mats in the vehicle already ready to go for winter, mudding, whatever you're gonna be doing with this vehicle. The outdoor package comes with a lot of great safety features. You've got your Subaru um, EyeSight technology, which includes your pre-collision braking, your um, uh, lane departure assist and lane departure warning. And then you also in the outdoor package have your Subaru rear side vehicle detection, also known as blind spot, and your reverse automatic braking. And then we're going to get into what's special about this specific model. So the Crosstrek is kind of known for having great ground clearance. It has 220 millimeters of ground clearance. Up and above that, we've got a 1.5 inch lift kit on this model. And we have LP Adventure wheels with BF Goodrich all-terrain tires on them. They make for a more rugged look. The outdoor package is, has gun metal badging on the exterior, but with this extra LP Adventure package, it just looks more stylish, more rugged, and it is a great choice for those of you who are gonna be off-roading in this vehicle. Up top here, we have the Subaru Crossrails. Those are something you're able to order in the store. And then we've got the Tuli roof rack. So if you are carrying a bit more, um, luggage than your vehicle has capacity, you are able to put it on top and strap it down as well. Um, and then you've got your, uh, the gunmetal painted mirror crafts there as well, which is a feature of the outdoor trim. That's a brief overview of the vehicle. Back to you, Jacqueline. Thank you so much, Kira. Love that update from Subaru. And we are going to get to a prize now from Subaru. It involves a Subaru windbreaker a mug and a Subaru hat. And the winner of that prize pack is Sabrina Samji from Richmond Hill. Thank you so much, Sabrina. And we will contact you after the show to pick up your prize. And now a brand that is so well loved from everybody here at FAF and all of our customers, it's Porsche. We have two locations. We have Porsche here, FAF Porsche and Vaughn. And great news, we're also opening a brand new dealership in Markham very soon. Lauren Siap is standing by at FAF Porsche. Hi, Lauren. Hi, Jacqueline. Thanks for joining us today, everybody. I'm going to flip my camera around so that you can see the cars instead of me. We have a few cars to show you today and then a couple of surprises, so I'll be really quick. Three, four cars in the showroom. We're going to start with the electric Taycan. This is a car that was launched last year, but finally has arrived uh, on Canadian roads. Like all electric cars, as you would expect, it's super, super fast with the base model, the 4S, starting at 520 horsepower and going up to 750 horsepower in the Turbo S. It's got the latest all digital Porsche interior. This one actually has the optional screen for the passengers as well. It's a very exciting car and actually Porsche just this week announced a new version of the Taycan that's coming called the Cross Turismo. It's going to start landing later this summer. Very exciting vehicle. The second car we're going to show you today is the new Porsche 911 Turbo, which we think is the perfect all-weather sports car. It's available in both a 911 Turbo and a 911 Turbo S with 580 or 640 horsepower, and your choice of coupe or convertible body styles. One of the most interesting things about the new 911 Turbo is this 930 Turbo Heritage interior trim, which includes a different seat pattern, contrasting stitching, and some other great features. The second 911 we're gonna show you today is the Heritage Edition Targa. And this is the first of a series of new editions from Porsche Exclusive with historic design cues, including a Porsche Heritage badge, special decal package, and probably the most interesting piece this is actually a corduroy interior. It's kind of got a bit of a 70s vibe. And this car, 
is a limited edition of 992 units worldwide. Finally, in the showroom, we have the new Cayman GT4. This actually is in a color called Python green. And the new GT4 has a four liter engine, flat six, revs like crazy, and for the first time is available with a PDK transmission. But there's a couple of other cars we think you probably wanna to see today that we don't have here in the showroom. The first is the FAF Motorsports Plaid Porsche, the 911 GT3R. And the second is Porsche's most exciting announcement for this year, the new 911 GT3. Fortunately, we have two of our FAF Motorsports drivers joining us tonight. So I'm gonna hand it over to one of them, uh, Lars Kern, who is actually joining us from Germany. Lars, over to you. Good evening, FAF Nation and all our Canadian friends. I'm feeling honored to be part of FAF Motorsport and represent the brand and its values here in Europe, or especially in Germany, close to Weisbach. Um, beside my job or my side job being a racing driver for FAF Motorsport and Monty Racing, um, my main job is being an engineer at Porsche in whole car development. And uh, I mean, as my friends at FAF, at FAF Motorsport for sure know, um, I need a well-balanced car to be any grip around the racetrack. And this we use from time to time at Porsche um, to set up our cars and just yeah, be like a human sensor, um, just to make sure the car is well-balanced and suits our customers. And um, with this said, I would like to introduce you to our last weapon from, from FLA, the 992 GT3. I will show you around. So this one is in shark blue. Let's jump inside. There we go. Looks like a PDK. It is a PDK. Could have been a manual as well. Looks pretty much the same. I'm just gonna do a quick walk around. Don't wonder, looks like steel in the rear and carbon ceramic in the front but it's a pre-production car. Um, wasn't easy to get this car for tonight, just to show you guys. So from the first meter I drove the car, I was impressed by the front end. Um, I mean, theoretically, I knew the difference between the 992 and the 991 GT3. They explained it to me pretty well, and I understood. Um, but the first impression I got was like, okay, this thing corners really crazy. And going to the Nürburgring, um, being on the German Autobahn, I couldn't stop thinking about, can the rear follow the front? And after one lap on the Nürburgring, I can tell you, this is the best 911 ever. It's just mechanically, aerodynamically, everything is so well balanced. Even I can do a quick lap around the ring. We did a six minute 55. And just for a comparison, uh, a 918 Spider did a 657 second date. Um, this doesn't mean you should sell your 918, just add a 992 GT3 to your um, Yeah, I think that's it. I would like to, with a legendary car, I would like to hand over to a legendary driver, um, my teammate at Fab Motorsport. I think he's the only guy ever winning a World Cup with this car being upside down. Mr. Lawrence Hunter, please tell us more about our race car. Thank you, Lars. Um, it's probably a good introduction. Um, so it was, uh, was great to share uh, a car with you in Daytona. Uh, we can have some other good races uh, in the future. And, you know, we would say um, I'm a Porsche factory driver. I'm used to seeing Porsches all the time and so on. But no, I, I, I get excited when I 
when I look at you presenting the new G3, um, I haven't driven it in real yet, but it's uh, it's definitely uh, we have the luxury of uh, of being able to choose a, a nice company car at Porsche, and that one is definitely uh, my my wish. Uh, manual, uh, the proper race seats. Uh, my wife's probably going to be angry at me, but you know she'll have to deal with it. Um, so I'm really looking forward to, to to trying that car. I've heard a lot of uh, great stories about it from from you, obviously, and also from uh, from others. And the lap time you you did on the Nurburgring was uh, was really impressive. Uh, so hats off for that. Um, besides that, it's uh, um, I'm new new to Pap. It's the first year I'm uh, I'm joining Pap Motorsport and in, in the IMSA series. Uh, there we are driving the. The next level GT3, the GT3 R, uh, made for for the racetrack, obviously. Um, coming from the, the RSR program, uh, which we did in the last couple of years. Um, but I'm really happy to be joining FAF. Uh, we had one very promising race in Daytona, uh, and I uh, enjoyed a lot to to be with the team. Uh, I feel they have a, a big motivation and desire to to grow in the future and to become uh, a very successful uh, establishment in, in motorsports. And I'm, I'm proud to be a part of it. And, uh, you know, due to the, the whole world restrictions, which have been at the moment, I haven't had the chance yet to come to, to Canada uh, to visit the team, but I, I hope soon we'll all be able to do that. And uh, I'm very much looking forward to meet everybody and seeing uh, that great showroom. Um, so, uh, yeah, it looks like, uh, very exciting times ahead and thank you. Thank you so much for that update on Porsche. Fantastic. Uh, great to see Lawrence Yap and of course uh, the other members of the Porsche family. Thank you so much. And right now we have a giveaway to get to from Porsche. The giveaway is a 118 scale model of the FAF Motorsports uh, GT3R. So we hope you will love that as much as as we do, and of course, it's in the iconic plaid uh, livery that we designed here. The winner of that uh, scale model is Mark Teacher from Thornhill. Congratulations, Mark. We'll contact you after the show to claim your prize. And up next, another brand that is so loved, we have McLaren, and FAF McLaren is located in Vaughan. And if I say these words, GT, Senna, and Artura, I'm sure you're getting excited for what's next. Mark Basili is standing by at FAF McLaren. Hey, Mark. Hey, Jacqueline. Uh, Mark Basili from McLaren here. Really happy to have you in with us here today for our online auto show. And I'm here to speak more about the McLaren brand. So I hope everyone's uh, been waiting for this. We're going to talk about the new GT today, as Jacqueline stated. So that's the car standing beside me here. Uh, to give you a bit of an idea behind the design of this car, it was basically, it needed to be a, a McLaren pure car incorporating all of our DNA but to cover long distances at speed with pure luxury and uh, luggage for two. So basically to sum that up, it's our most usable supercar without any compromise. I mean, look at, look at the design of this vehicle. Uh, it's stunning, it has bold volumes. I mean, the silhouette is just, uh, it's just gorgeous at the end of the day. And the GT is really about uh, luxury, like I said, and the materials that we use uh, inside the vehicle. So much like any McLaren, you know, it starts the core of a carbon fiber monocot. Um, so the chassis of our car is made from carbon fiber, which has a lot of lightweight tendencies, but great, um, great structure, rigidity, um, and very safe when it comes to, you know, if you're ever in an accident vehicle. Um, some benefits we get from that is actually, our car actually has a 30% uh, uh, better power to weight ratio than an Aston Martin DB11. Um, and in fact, we're 250 kilos lighter than that car. So that's very significant. Um, moving into the interior, you can see we use a lot of uh, very natural soft grain leathers. Um, we also use a lot of brushed and um, polished bright work, which is from the Speed Tail, uh, which is a car I'm sure you guys all know about. Uh, and of course, we're really not sacrificing anything in performance. This car offers the same four liter V8 twin turbo as the 720. It's just detuned a little bit to 612 horsepower. So it truly is a supercar, just one that you really don't have any compromise with. 21 inch wheels, ceramic brakes. I mean, the whole aesthetic of the car is just stunning. And if you follow me to the back, you'll see what we mean in terms of luggage for two. 
a snowboard. So in the winter time, no problem. Put winter tires in your car, go to the ski hill, go snowboarding. In the summertime, no problem putting your golf bag in the back there as well and heading to the lakes. We'll move on over to, I think what everyone's waiting for right now, the beautiful McLaren Senna. Um, this is actually a sold unit. So we'll be very, very careful with it. But why don't we enter the inside and just take a closer look at the rawness that is basically our street legal race car. Very skeletal on the inside of this car because this car is all about lightweight. It's on the best diet plan you'll ever imagine. Carbon fiber everywhere, which gives us the most lightweight uh, masses that we can use for materials, as well as Alcantara, which is much lighter than metal. Uh, we even go through exercises of gaining more visibility in the car in areas you've never learned before, much like the glass window we have down here. Glass upper doors um, and basically uh, just a raw carbon fiber tub which is all about shedding as much weight and going as fast around the racetrack as physically possible. We'll finish off with the, the new model from McLaren that's going to be coming later this year, uh, the all new McLaren Artura. The Artura is an all new model, new chassis, new engine, new interior, new everything. And we're really excited about it. Number one, not only is it new, uh, but we're offering a hybrid powertrain. So basically considered a baby P1. We're gonna have an Artura here uh, between March 22nd to March 28th. So if you guys didn't want to come by and see that car in person, that'll be the first uh, possible viewing point in Canada. Um, and we're expecting our first cars to land late July and August. Um, you can see here on the configurator, this is what the car will look like, but obviously seeing it in person is going to be amazing. So for now, this is the new Artura. Back to you, Jacqueline. Thank you so much, Mark. Love that. I mean, talk about excitement. Thank you so much. We have a prize pack to get to from Faf McLaren. It involves a McLaren hat, a model car, a mug, a lanyard, and a couple of other McLaren themed items. The winner of that prize is Jonah Brost from Vancouver. Thank you so much uh, for tuning in. All the way out in Vancouver, we actually have a dealership, Faf uh, McLaren Vancouver as well. And now we are going to switch gears a little bit. We have an auto body shop here at Faf. And Jeff Papst is standing by. He's going to tell us about some really neat developments um, at the Auto Workshop. Over to you, Jeff. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm going to, uh, my name is Jeff Papst. I'm the general manager at FAF Auto Works. I'm going to take you on a little tour of our paint, paint facility here at FAF Auto Works. Uh, we're a certified facility um, for Volkswagen, Audi, Porsche, BMW, Mini, and McLaren. And uh, before I get started, I'm going to go through a couple of things just to give you a little tour. First, I'm going to talk a little bit about our paint, uh, a little bit about color and the technology um, and what's driving uh, certain colors on beautiful Porsches and McLarens you see in, in the showroom. Uh, and lastly, uh, we'll talk a little bit about how we match colors. So um, first, I'm going to start off by uh, introducing our paint line, which is Glazerit, and it's called 100 Line. So this is a new technology that we've just adopted uh, about five weeks ago now. And uh, we're one of the first uh, facilities in North America to, to uh, launch this product. And the reason was it's, it's a great performing product, uh, out, outpaces uh, the previous product quite a bit. But the most important thing for us is that it, uh, from a sustainability perspective, it's 40% less uh, VOCs into the, uh, emitted into the air. So um, for us, it's important. Uh, and the technology, the coverage is great. Not only uh, that, but you know, Glaserit has been a uh, probably a, I think it's a hundred year partner now with a lot of the OEs, German OEs, including Porsche, Volkswagen, Audi, BMW, they are Mercedes Benz. They're all uh, painted with Glaserit from the factory, so that's why we've chosen to go that direction. So we're going to take a little tour into the paint booth and show you a really cool car that we have painted not too long ago. So as we start to talk about colors, this is a 1966 Porsche 912. Uh, Len, a great customer of ours has let us use it for today. We painted this car last fall, and this is called Bally Blue, and which leads me into talking about colors and what drives colors. So um, it's uh, technology and um, is, is driving a lot of the colors and pigments and colors, but also it's a very an emotional personal choice uh, when you're going to pick a, a new color for a new car 
especially when you get into some of the sports cars. So we're gonna go back into the mixing room here. So uh, I don't know if anybody knew this, but 80% uh, of the colors today in North America are, are white, black, uh, gray, and silver, uh, making up exactly 80% of, of col uh, colors purchased. In the last year, there's been a huge trend towards new colors, uh, brighter colors, more um, chromatic colors, uh, portraying uh, happiness and an upbeat uh, mood. And uh, very interesting that uh, this research on this, and it, a lot of this is to do with COVID. People are going out and picking colors that maybe they traditionally wouldn't have chosen in the past. So it's very interesting uh, the way colors are pro progressing. Um, I was gonna read a little, little bit of information here that I pulled up and it's uh, color, color um, according to proponents of color psychology, your favorite color or colors define your personal personality. Yes, it's that simple. According to the colors you choose, they say a lot about your physical, mental, and emotional states. Similarly, the colors you dislike say a lot about your weaknesses and vulnerabilities. And we're seeing a lot of these colors coming out now, the greens and oranges, uh, which is really exciting to see instead of just black and white. Um, thank you, thank you, Jacqueline, and back to you. Thank you so much, Jeff. Love that update from FAF Auto Works. And FAF Auto Works has given us an amazing prize that we are thrilled to give away right now. It's an auto detailing package. In that package, so many things included, um, an exterior hand wash, exterior wax, interior dressing, vacuum, the interior and trunk, cleaning of the windows, door, door jams and wheels, as well as tire dressing, basically the works, full service, VIP. And we are giving that away today to the winner, Sandra Perrado from Newmarket. Congratulations, Sandra. That will be really nice to have before the spring hits. And right now we are going to switch gears a little bit and go to FAF Harley-Davidson, which is located in Richmond Hill. And Todd is standing by. Hey, Todd. Hey, Jacqueline, thank you for the great intro. Uh, my name is Todd and I'm coming to you guys live from FAF Harley-Davidson here in Richmond Hill. And I'm gonna to talk to you guys about this sweet live wire, basically Harley's first motorcycle into the electrification process. Fantastic bike, leaps uh, head and shoulders above everybody else. Simple things, the numbers speak. Zero to 100K in three seconds. I think we heard some pretty serious numbers earlier on some high supercars. We're in the game with this. Also, one charge, 235 kilometers in the city. Um, beautiful bike, beautiful handling. We'll go over a few of these features on it. So one thing we'll do is I'll get you to come over and we're gonna turn on this panel and we'll look at the electronics on this. So basically touch, t touch uh, screen on it. So we'll get it to boot up like a mini computer. Here we go. So we can go into this and we can play with all the configurations. So we have a ride mode in here. In here, we can have it for road, sport, rain, range. And one of the fun things about this is there's custom modes. So we can really dial this bike into your riding style and how you like the, the braking to come on and the power to come on. So you can really make it fit your style. Go back, we can go into different appearances to make the package the way you want. We have Bluetooth configuration, custom widgets, everything you want to do, it'll do for you. Fantastic bike. We'll go back to our main uh, screen on this. Another thing about this bike is you're looking as at the front end over here, we have inverted front forks. So what that does is better handling bike, keeps that front tire really planted on the road and uh, great feeling. Also, you'll notice that there's radio mount Brembo brakes on here. So it's one finger stopping power, really fantastic, very great feel, very modular with ABS also to assist you if you try to go for a little bit too much brake. Also, if you go over here to the front, it's all LED lighting. So LED headlight, turn signals, everything. So not only do you see well at night, but you get seen well. And that's just as important as seeing well. Another thing about this bike, which is really cool, and Harley does this all the time, is that it's belt drive for the back. So what that does is we don't need to, there's no maintenance, there's no adjustment. Biggest thing is it doesn't create dirt, like chains do on all the other bikes. Another thing too, rear suspension, fully adjustable. You can adjust the rebound, the preload, and you can make it fit you again. So, cause we all have different weights, this will dial in for us. Another cool thing about it is the charging system on this bike. So wherever you go, you need to do a fast charge. You basically lift up your seat, your cable's all under here that you need to do. The fast charge is completed in one hour, same port as all the other EV vehicles. So it's a plug and play and you're good to go. All right. Now, one thing that's very different about this bike that uh, most people don't know is that there's no clutch on this bike. So basically there's no lever over here. And on top of that, there's no shifter over here. So what that does is it simplified the riding process for this bike. 
We don't have to worry about letting that clutch out and going through our gears. We basically just get on the bike. Big smile, that's the best part about this. Put your feet up and just give this a twist. And you'll see, oh, sorry, I got to start it. Sorry, I hope your, vol your volume's not too loud on your computers. Keep it down because we're going to fire this baby up. Here we go. Oh, she's running now. So all you do, just twist this, as you can see, back tire starts to go in different modes. So I put in sport mode so you can see the instant throttle response on this. Up she goes. And here we go. We'll show you how fast this picks up. Are you ready? This thing is so much fun to ride. Thank you very much. This is the live wire from Harley Davidson. Jacqueline, back to you. Todd, thank you so much for that demonstration and walk around of the live wire. We love that bike. And again, another electric offering here at FAF. We have a prize pack to get to right now. We've got some Harley Davidson FAF t-shirts that are such a hot commodity here. We are giving away three of those to a lucky winner. And the winner is Matt Hasrati from Richmond Hill. Congratulations, Matt. And switching gears a little bit. I don't want to say we saved the best for last, but this is a super luxury brand that I'm sure a lot of people are just so excited to see. It's Pagani, Faf Pagani, and we are going to look at this incredible um, Wyra Roadster with Chris Green. Sending it over to you, Chris. Thank you, Jacqueline. Uh, hey, Faf Nation. Very, very excited to be able to welcome you guys here to the Pagani showroom. Uh, situated at 101 Auto Park Circle within the FAP Reserve dealership as well. Um, behind me, obviously, you see this beautiful purple beast in viola drag, Dragone viola, which is the actual color of the exposed carbon fiber. But before I get to the car, this is actually your one stop shop for all Pagani needs. FAP um, is the exclusive distributor and uh, dealer or retailer for Canada. And we have a servicing location here in Vancouver, here in Toronto, as well as Vancouver and uh, the ability to service cars in Montreal and Calgary as well through uh, some of our reserve locations. So as uh, I'm going to kind of walk around this car, I'll open this door so Matt can come a little bit closer here. But what I really want to start showing you guys is something so unique to this car. Not only is it one of 100 produced globally, it's actually only one of three that ever came to Canada. And as we kind of look down on some of the actual accents and details of this car, everything is hand built. Every um, nut and bolt is actually created out of titanium finish, uh, titanium metal, and they all actually have a finishing with the Pagani logo engraved into each and every one of those bits. With the theme of titanium, we talked a lot about carbon fiber with some of the other brands, but we actually have a very tiny titanium weave throughout this carbon titanium chassis. To have a Pagani or a, a Wyra, or sorry, to have a Roadster period that would weigh only 2,820 pounds is something remarkable and something that goes to show the level of dedication and engineering that uh, Horatio and his Pagani team have introduced into these vehicles. So as we come a little bit closer, once again, to the interior, I really want to point out some really neat facts, including the custom dials that are all hand milled uh, in Italy. Everything, of course, in this car is produced in Italy, apart from the engine, which I'll show you guys momentarily. This Roadster um, emblem here is actually cut out of a single block of aluminum, which takes roughly 24 hours to create that, that look and that finish. As we kind of take a little bit of a look towards the back, the heart of the beast, or the, where, the, where the true passion truly comes uh, from this Pagani. It's a, it's a V12 six liter, pushing out something like 752 horsepower. Uh, you got the AMT transmission, which is uh, produced by X-Track. X-Track is actually the manufacturer that produces many transmissions for a Formula One car. So you have an automated manual transmission in this vehicle. You could either use the sequential gearbox and the lever down below here, which is actually produced out of 63 various elements just to create that feel and the sensation of everything that you'd expect from, from the Pagani, as well as, of course, the paddle shifters on the steering wheel itself. But when we take a look around the car, we talk about carbon fiber. It is all carbon fiber. Every single element on this vehicle is either titanium or carbon fiber. We can actually see how lightweight this is. I mean, it takes no effort whatsoever to open and close this car and really expose the beauty uh, the performance and, of course, the, the engineering marvel that uh, Horatio Pagani and his team in Italy have created. So I hope you guys have an opportunity to come and join us here in the Pagani showroom. Again, this is our flagship store uh, here, in, uh, here in Woodbridge. And, uh, of, of course, I mean, I think you guys have uh, really had the opportunity to experience some incredible machines, but this is one that I'm very proud of. So I, I'll leave it back to you, Jacqueline. Thank you.
Thank you so much, Chris. Love that car. And we are actually going to give uh, away a Fast Pagani prize pack. This one is incredible. Uh, the prize involves um, a Wyra VC cap, Zonda mug, and a Wyra 143 scale model. And that's not all. It's also including uh, Peloti driving shoes that are available on our website. Um, we will send you the link and you can choose any of the shoes that are in stock and we hope you enjoy them. And with that, that is our last brand that we are featuring today. And from all of us here at FAF, we would like to give you such a sincere thanks for joining us for the first ever FAF Virtual Auto Show. Also a special thanks goes out to our incredible sales team and marketing team for coming together to put this show on. And we truly hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. We are looking forward to an incredible and amazing 2021. And we hope to see you in our stores or online in the very near future. And don't forget, you can follow us on social media. All of the brands you saw here today are on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube as well. Check out FAF Automotive Partners on YouTube. And again, we love to connect with our fans who love driving and cars as much as we do. And we hope you enjoyed this experience. Thanks so much and have a great weekend.